up? It's Sierra. For today's video, we're going to be doing a hair care products review or like kind of a talk through of what I use in the shower and after and all the different stuff. So I hope you guys like the video. If you do, don't forget to go ahead and like it and click the subscribe button down below or at the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoy. So the first products I'm going to be showing you guys are the products I use in the shower and for shampoo and both of these are almost out. I have the Intensely Invigor Invigorating, I cannot say that word right now, uh, Eucalyptus Mint. I always call it Eucalyptus, but it's not that. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know which way I'm trying to say. Um, and it is by the OGX Pure Beauty and Simple. Looks like that. And I really like it because it helps with like swimming and whatnot and it makes my hair feel really nice. So, um, And then for conditioner, I use the Suave Essentials. Wild Cherry Blossom, and this is in the family size. So. Next couple products are what I use when I'm out of the shower and when my hair is still damp. So the first one that I use, um, if I'm wanting to flat iron my hair, then I use the Garnier Fructus Sleek and Shine Brazilian Smooth Flat Iron Express. Well, that's a lot of words. Anyway, um, it's supposed to help with difficult hair that doesn't like to flat iron and my hair is like that it doesn't stay flat ironed and it doesn't flat iron easily I have to have it at a pretty high heat which is damaging so not the best thing and this I have noticed has really helped with keeping my hair flat ironed for longer periods of time such as like a day and a half so that's always really nice next product I use whenever my hair is still wet if I'm not using the Flatiron Express uh, Serum, then I'm using the Nexus Hair Salon Care Pro Mend Split End Binding. Um, yeah. I really like it because it has a really nice smell. I don't know, I like like the toffee smell, and I feel like this smells like toffee. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, but it works well. I don't know if I've noticed a difference. I mean, maybe. Does my hair look good? Also, if it, like, it doesn't smell good to me, then I won't use it because it does not smell good. Um, but this is one of the things that doesn't smell very good, but smells good after I flat iron. It's uh, the L'Oreal Paris <coughs> <coughs> Advanced Hairstyle uh, Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. Um, and this does not smell great by any means whenever you first like spray it in your hair, but after you're done flat ironing your hair or curling or whatever you use, then um, I find that it smells a lot better than before. I tend to have some um, crazy hair after I'm done, wa like washing it and then once it's dried, then I usually have a lot of um, frizz and it just looks kind of interesting, let's just put it like that. Or an 80s rocker. My hair kind of looks like that too. Um, and so I've been really liking the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Gloss Drops. Um, it works really, really well. I wasn't really expecting that much of it because usually if you have stuff like that, then it's almost like a, you either compromise your hair looking greasy or it doesn't work at all. So I find these that just work as a good in-between, so that's one thing I really like about them. And they don't make your hair feel like sticky, which I know some other gloss drops do make your hair feel sticky, which, I mean, I like them these ones because they don't make your hair feel sticky. The things I've been really enjoying recently are the um, Organics Pure and Simple Nourishing Coconut Milk and this, this is the anti-breakage serum um, and I've been really liking it because it helps your hair feel nice and moisturized which is what I have in right now. Does it look good? I feel like that's the only thing I'm going to be saying in this entire video is does my hair look good because of these products but um, I don't really know. I've been liking it a lot because of the simple fact that a lot of the coconut stuff that I've tried makes your hair feel greasy. So if you're going to use anything with coconut oil, don't put it at your roots by any means because that's what's going to make your hair feel really greasy. Put it at the ends of your hair and then it will make it look so greasy. If I'm wanting to go for a more of a beach chic kind of look, then I will use the Garnier Fructus Style. And this is the Deconstructed Beach Chic Texturizing Spray with Black Fig. Yeah. And I've had this one for quite a while. The one thing I don't like about like the sea salt sprays are that um, I usually end up spritzing them in my face and then I taste salt for the rest of the day. So that's one thing I don't really like about it. 
but at the same time it kind of makes my hair look really good so I'm all right with tasting salt for the rest of the day. One of the things I've been really really liking recently is the Curl Renew by Garnier Fruit Style and it is, I don't know, it smells really good so I'm like obsessed with putting this in my hair and I guess you're supposed to put it in whenever your hair is damp so um yeah, I sometimes don't do that. Sometimes I put it in whenever it's dry. I don't know if that's good for your hair or not. Um, but it, is, it has coconut oil. And a lot of people are like, well, it's for naturally curly hair. My hair doesn't really curl, doesn't really straighten. It doesn't really, like, it doesn't, it, it has a mixed combination of moods and mood swings and whatnot. So I find that if I use different products on different weeks or dif even different days, then it works just fine. And to top it all off, I like to use some hairspray. And this one is the Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumin Voluminizing, really? Vo I'm not even going to say that word. Hairspray. Um, and this is a 24-hour hold. It's the number four, which is the max. Um, and uh, you get 15, 14% more hairspray. Yeah. I like this one because it has humidity protection and doesn't make your hair feel sticky because a lot of hairsprays I find either make your hair into like putty or makes it feel sticky and I don't like any of those and this one just leaves you with a nice finish. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to click the subscribe button right here and the other videos will be over here that I've recently been doing and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.